Wow, TNA really sucked tonight. They really did. They did nothing with 3311. There was no countdown. There was no tease about it. Well, there was one tease, but it was at the end of the show. There was no... Oh, yeah. Basically, what happened tonight... I'm not going to tell you guys exactly what happened, but basically, the entire storyline tonight was the network called Hulk Hogan and said that there was going to be a world heavyweight title shot between Jeff Hart... or world heavyweight title match between Jeff Hardy and a partner of the network's choosing. Um... No one knew. Obviously, everyone thought it was Anderson. I knew it wasn't Anderson. This is probably going to be the only time, by the way, that you're going to hear me talk about TNA. By the way, shout-out of the week goes to good old boy 1104. Keep up the good work, buddy. And, um, let's get back to this. All right, so... I'm not even going to talk about the rest of the show. This, this part was, I think, no. Like, it didn't do it for me. Um, I will have, like, a little poll at the end of the show, just for uh, this one, because, uh, I want to find out what you guys have to say, so, um, everybody that's watching this video that has a YouTube account, please comment, everybody, please, well, really if you're a wrestling fan, but, um, and you kind of know what I'm talking about, um, but, let's get back down to the chase, though, so, no tease or anything. It came to the end of the show. Jeff Hardy comes out uh, with his world title thing. And it looks like a, the Divas title from D WWE. Back when, you know, the, the Divas title. Not the actual, not this piece of crap. The butterfly crap. That was stupid. But, um, it looks like that. He comes out with that thing. And, and then all of a sudden you just hear, and now, uh... Or his opponent, and then it just stops, and then everything goes like black, and then three, three, sorry, wrong way, three, three, eleven comes on the Tron, and then it like kind of disappears, and then like this green thunderstorm that I thought was pretty cool, <clears throat> you know, if that was really like a background for someone new. Not this person. And everyone they went black. It showed a scorpion. And Sting's music starts. You can tell I was kind of excited. Kind of. Because I haven't seen Sting in four months. And especially with this entire thing. With him going to. Uh, with him going to either WWE or TNA. And they wouldn't mention WWE throughout the entire show. But uh, by the way. I don't get that. I know I'm. I know like this is a video just about TNA, but uh, I already told you guys. Did you guys notice the uh, TNA commercial on Raw this past week? And they had no sort of WWE commercial tonight. No, that's just I. Wow, I didn't understand that. That's kind of weird. I thought that was weird, but that's just me. Anyway, let's get back. Sting comes out in this new. Attire. I don't like this attire, actually. Well, eh, I, I don't know about it. You know, it kind of doesn't fit his persona, but... Um, and then in a squash match, pretty much, Sting beats him. Sting beats Jeff Hardy, and Sting is your now World Heavyweight Champion. So, this isn't the thing, but... How long can you guys see Sting... Put this in the comments. You guys, put this in the comments. Give me your opinion. Uh, how long do you think he's going to hold it for? And who do you think he's going to lose it to? Uh, obviously, there's an end to a reign sometime. But, um... I don't know. Uh, TNA always disappoints, and tonight was no different. Um... I, can't, I just can't stop shaking my head, no. Basically, TNA is a retirement home. When they're done with their careers on do in WWE, they go to TNA. No joke. 
but Sting is your world champion. Loopity freaking do. I already said that in an earlier video that I made, but I had to re re record it because I didn't like it. Um, so this is your question to you guys, to you guys right here. What what promo did you like better? What did you like the Undertaker promo and 22111, or did you guys like the Sting and 3311 promo? Me personally, I liked the 22111 because it gave you a countdown. It made it look important, and it was important because <clears throat> now we have a historic match at WrestleMania because of it. We have Undertaker and Triple H, which I will have a video up tonight. I will have the card and my prediction so far. Um, I will do right after this video, actually. So, um, no editing, no cuts, no nothing. This is a complete webcam right here. Um, so, basically, I just don't get it. How, why would you, uh, why would you bring Sting, who is 51, he's 51 years old. He's probably be, he's gonna be 52 by the end of the month. You're gonna have a 52 year old, your world heavyweight champion. Oh, don't get me wrong, the age factor it doesn't really matter to me, but it's, you know, come on, Jeff Hardy won this thing two weeks ago at, against all odds. You couldn't have Hardy. Hold it for at least a pay-per-view. WWE wouldn't even allow that. WWE let him hold it from Armageddon to Royal Rumble. That was it. They wouldn't give him a full title shot. Especially one that didn't have interferences. He could not hold on to that thing for more than a month. Really, he couldn't. <clears throat> but any anyway, um... I, but he just comes out of nowhere and all of a sudden he's the number one contender. I know that the, the network put him up to this, but do, do you really think it's worth it? You know, I wouldn't have mind seeing AJ Styles or RVD. I didn't mind seeing Sting. Sting I was kind of actually excited about because I haven't seen him in four months. But to have a 52-year-old as your world champion, that's kind of awfully very old in my opinion I'm not being mean or anything but before I end this video I kinda wanna cut it now um which promo did you guys like better 22111 right here or 3311 put it in the comments peace out